Hi, welcome back to ODE and to another collection overview video. Today I'm focusing on orange pens and I have a few, not many. And today I'm showing you the pens that are orange and not that kind of orange terracotta color like the Parker Big Red and such, but going to more orange pens. I have some that may fall maybe between orange and yellow, but that's what's life. So let me just show you the pens and talk about them a little bit. As usually, the pens that I have the most in orange are Caveco pens. And we will start with the Caveco Sport. So this is a Caveco Sport by Microsoft. Caveco Sport by Microsoft was a special edition of Caveco for this brand that we all know and it was released around the year 2000 and it is very very rare to find sometimes it reaches very high prices this color is the same as the color on the Caveco Ice Sport Orange the Ice Sport range is a range that has been discontinued recently and it, it has been around for many years since the end of the 1990s and this is the Caveco Ice Sport orange so you, when you look at both pens we can see that both are transparent and have the same color this one has Microsoft and no Caveco Sport engraving as this one has but this pen has the cap, barrel and section in orange color and the Caveco the Caveco Ice Sport has the cap and uh, section and the barrel is clear. This was a, a characteristic of the Caveco Ice Sport. Transparent colors on cap and section, they were the same and then a different color on the, the, the barrel, clear, transparent. So here you can see the nibs of the two pens which are quite similar I would say one is more deeply into the section than the other and they have different feeds so let's put the Kavec Sport by micro for for Microsoft here and then we'll go for the Kavec Ice Sport this is kind of a special edition and this this was in regular production and we have now another, let me put a little bit more light here, we have also another edition, this is very hard to show on camera because it never looks how it, the way it looks without, uh, out of camera. So this is the Caveco Sport, Skyline Sport, and it is a Skyline because it has a, this kind of solid color that is the same in section, barrel and um, cap, it says Caveco Sport here and it was a special edition for the Spanish distributor of Caveco which is called Zix Ideas and they made this special edition pen that you can see here it is a very bright orange that may not be that bright here on camera but there's no way to light this pen in a correct way you can check many photos online and it is very rare to see one that matches the real color of the pen the other one that I'm showing you is the, another Caveco Sport this one was released 2021 and this is the Caveco AL Sport Orange and it, this is the Ackerman Orange it was a, an exclusive edition for Ackerman Amsterdam like the others it has a steel nib but the steel nib is black coated as you can see and you have also black logo on top of the cap instead of the silver colored logo on the other pens and the last Caveco Sport is the Caveco 
AC Sport in orange, which is a very interesting pen that is made of aluminium with carbon fiber inserts. Also, black uh, logo on top of the cap, also black nib. And I think the color scheme on this pen is quite good. I really like it. It is a slightly different shade, but very similar. Only slightly different. And then we end the Caveco brand with the Caveco Student 70 Soul. The Student is a very different pen. It's not a pocket pen. It's a full-size pen that is made of acrylics or resin. And this music series for the 70s, it is the Soul. Uh, it has the cap made of a different color for each decade of music and you have this kind of ivory white barrel and also a metal gold colored uh, section and then a gold plated nib that is the same nib as the others but this one is gold plated and here on the back you can see Kavec student Germany and so this is a full sized pen let me put them here so if you are searching for them this is very rare to find you may find them on ebay and sometimes they go i've seen them at r very crazy prices i've seen someone asking 1000 euros for it this is out of production but you can still find them in some stores this is also a specific a special edition out of production but still available at some stores also this one was specific from Ackerman I'm not sure if they sold out but if you want to see you have to go to Ackerman Amsterdam to, to check them and the AC Sport was just discontinued so you may still find some this one is still in production then we jump to another brand also from Germany and this is the Super 5 and you have the Super 5 engraved there on the barrel not sure if you can read it it is a pen that is made for carrying their special inks which are uh, waterproof inks they have also a smallish nib that says Super 5 there and they are quite nice this is a broad nib and the pen is called Super 5 Delhi. And I would say this color is uh, yellowish, orangish, very similar to that one, a little more pale, but I would say it's more kind of a saffron color. Next, we go to China. And from China, I have two pens. One is this Jinhao Centennial, which is a fun pen with a very strange orange color. It's not the, that big red color from Parker. I have, there is also that version available from Jinhao. This is Jinhao Centennial in orange. It has the logo there, which is silver color, and this is gold color. So it's kind of a strange match, but the, co but the pen is really orange, except for the top of the cap this part and this part and it has this steel nib also it is quite a good pen for the price you take you, you buy it it is very stylish and I think it's it's really a very decent writer if you get one with a with a good nib and I find that Jinhao nibs are being very good lately and let's jump to another Chinese pen from the same brand, a Jinhao 51A. There are 51A uh, Jinhao pens with hooded nibs like the Parker 51 or there are some other with exposed nibs but the same kind of shape. This one has a hooded nib and it takes a cartridge or a converter. All these pens are also cartridge converter pens. So this is a an interesting pen, very classic shape, very transparent and um, if you want to compare it we need to go to this Microsoft and we can see that this one is a little bit more red in color but 
still orange. The next pen, also from China, has a much paler orange and it is a strange pen. I showed it before, it is the Tatung 361 and it seems like not a pocket pen but a toy pen, uh, very very small. Here it is the Caveco Sport and here you can see the Tatung, very very small pen that you unscrew like this, you uncap. This should be white and it's no longer white, you can see here it is more white than there. You screw this in place and then you have a kind of a full size, even if it is a smaller pen, but let's compare with a post-it cave export, it's still shorter but it has now a decent size to use. It is a very uncommon pen. I if I could, I would collect all the colors of this because I think it is interesting. I have three and there you can see the nib. You can see the name of the model here. 361 Tatung, made in China. These are not made anymore. I think they are from the 70s maybe. And the pen is a kind of a bulb filler like that. It has a this rubber bladder that is placed, that is stuck in place there and you just squeeze it and fill the pen. So it is an interesting pen. I need to make a review of this one someday soon because I think it's fun and I would like to have the other colors so I need to search for them. Now let's go for the last three pens of the orange collection and we will go to a brand in the United States, a brand that I like a lot, a model that I like a lot, one of my favorite models ever, the Parker 45. This is the 45 in orange, very bright orange. This one is a cartridge converter pen, has no cartridge or converter now, and it is plastic pen with a metal cap these posts really really well. I think this pen was designed to be posted student pen and I really like the Parker um, 51, uh, the Parker 45 and I would say this is the most uh, intense orange in this collection if uh, it doesn't stay in place except uh, if we accept the um, if we take out of the equation the transparent pens like the Kavecus and that Jin Hao, if we don't count them, this is the most uh, intense solid orange pen that I have in my collection. I've had other pens that I sold, uh, not I sold. I had some. I sold one of those, but I have. I had other pens in as a loan, like a Metaxas, but I don't have it anymore. And now let's go for the final two pens. They are two from Italy. And one is this pen, the Leonardo Messenger, which is a pen that I really, really enjoy. And I enjoy it because of several reasons. First, because it is a full-sized pen. And this is something that I like. And the other characteristic I like in this pen is that it, it is a cartridge converter pen. And yes, I like cartridge converter pens. This was the Leonardo Messenger Orange. It was a limit, limited edition for 2020. And 2020 would be that amazing year. And it was um, a leap year and it had the... and I can't find it now, but believe me, it has a serial number engraved because this is a a special edition and I think it is there on the cap. I don't remember anymore but I can't find it now but believe me this pen is a numbered it's there let me see if there it is a numbered limited edition it was released as yes, the number of the days the year had so 366 but then we had a very terrible <laughs> year of 2020, 2020 with the Covid so I'm not sure if this pen was such a success because maybe it will remind us forever of the, that terrible year. 
However, I find it quite interesting. I like it a lot, a lot. This is the Leonardo Messenger. It was available in several colors. This is the orange, which is more in a yellow side, but still orange enough to be called orange. The final pen is also Leonardo from Italy. This is the Leonardo Ficina Italiana Momento Zero Grande Pura. And the Pura is this kind of transparent, frosted, colored pens. This is the, the Pura in orange or flaming orange or arancio fiamente. And it is a beautiful pen with, it comes with several finishes. It could be silver, gold or black. And I chose black and you can see it is a piston filler. It is just translucent light, like frosted glass. And you can see the piston is moving down there. So this is, of these pens, this is the only one that is a piston filler. Very big pen, very nicely made. I really enjoy this pen. One of the very nice pens that I got for review during 2021. It's not the most intense orange, but anyway, I think this is a very nice pen. So, this is all I had to show you today. I hope you enjoyed this orange sub-collection video. Sometimes I like to do this uh, collection overview by color. This is one of those. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and be back here for more videos soon. So, see you next time. Bye.